All right, welcome back to Eyes Open Media. Hope you guys are doing well. Happy Sabbath. Um, of course, Sabbath have, has, the Sabbath have not started yet, but <laughs> um, we're going to do a Sabbath prayer, so I'll make sure I get it, uh, you know, get it done, okay? Um, so yeah, I just finished listening to uh, Cherie's recording this morning, and I, and I have posted it, so hopefully you guys check that out as well. And you guys are saying that she is a she is a gifted woman of God, right? So she is, man. She is. Uh, I remember a couple years ago, Prophet Solomon said that, yeah, she she's a she's a chosen one, you know. And uh, and uh, hopefully everybody listening is chosen, right? You know. And if you're and if and if you accept Yeshua, and if you're not part of the bloodline of the twelve tribes of Judah, then if you accept Yeshua, you are chosen. So everybody that's listening to me on this Sabbath prayer or video. It's chosen. It might, it should be. Hopefully, if you're not, come on over. You know, come on over. You know, believe in Abba Father. You know, Elohim. Believe that uh, Yeshua came down and and died for your sins and and for the sins of his chosen ones. He didn't die for the sins of everyone. That is, you know, he died for the sins of the chosen one. And I explained that in yesterday's video, right? Um, because many fell with Satan, remember that. So he that's why Yeshua said, I, I've, I've, I haven't come for the world, I came for my chosen people. Those were the people that did not fall with Satan, okay? That means a lot of people on the earth are fallen angels. <laughs> They're fallen, okay? They fell with Satan. And this is why they believe, this is why they're in these uh, relig uh, you know, rituals and religious, uh, false religions and false gods and statues and stuff like that, because they are fallen. Okay, they don't want to accept Yeshua. They don't want to accept the truth. They don't want to accept the, 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 the living God, okay? Even regardless of, of of you know how real they believe he is, they don't they don't want to because they fell. Okay, so so that's why Yeshua said he came for the he came he didn't come for the world he came for this chosen people and those who accept me become chosen right. Um, so yeah. So anyways, I uh, hope you guys are doing well. Um, it's going to be, I told you guys it's going to be a, a crazy week, man. And so we started off with, with uh, Trump and the nuclear, and we got that right, um, you know. Uh, and I really didn't want to speak about it until Trump did it. But, you know, so many people were like, Where, what is your, what is your, uh, you know, what do you guys think? What is your team thinking about? And so I did post it on Twitter before, uh, you know, that, that, that morning or I'm not, was it that afternoon or morning before Trump went out there and made the statement? So we, we, we nailed that one. And, uh, I believe we're going to nail this, uh, these elections in Iraq as well. Um, I believe we're going to nail that completely. I think I, they're, they're going to remove the stronghold of Iran. And this is why, uh, I said it's going to be a bad week for Iran. Okay. Um, uh, uh, because, uh, they're going to remove the strongholds from Iran because that is key. That was, that's been keeping them from their prosperity, right? So the, all the puppets, the Maliki puppets and all his goons and all these people that are really Iranian people pretending to be Iraqis, they're going to be removed and that's going to bring the prosperity. Okay. Um, so yeah, so that's what's going on and, uh, it's going to be a crazy weekend and into next week of, you know, and for you guys that are in the crypto world, you know, you got the consensus and to tomorrow starts the Ethereal summit. And then we go into the consensus and lots of big news and things are coming. So it's going to be a historic, I told you guys, it's going to be a historic week into the weekend and into to next week. It's going to be historic and that's what we've seen so far. So it's going to get even better in my opinion. So Lots of celebrations, lots of uh, historic releases and, and, uh, and news coming. Uh, so let's pray. So Heavenly Father, we thank you for the Sabbath. We thank you for the Sabbath day. Um, we know that it's, it's Friday sunset to Saturday sunset. And that is your Sabbath. And we thank you, Father, for that. Your Sabbath is not Sunday, which is the worship of Baal. We, we do not do that in Yeshua's name. Your Sabbath is Friday sunset to Saturday sunset. And we thank you, Father, for that. Uh, that, does, that does not mean that we cannot worship on Sunday. We can worship on Sunday. We can worship uh, any time of the day because you love us to worship. And we thank you, Father, for that. We thank you that you that you allow us to worship and we allow you allow us to talk to you. you allow us to be your best friend, you know, uh, tell you everything that we that that we're going through because, you know, everything that we're going through already. <laughs> the Holy Spirit knows everything that we're going through already. Yeshua knows everything that we're going through already, though. You know, our guardian angels see everything that we're going through. So it, it it's but it, it's so comforting to be able to to be able to talk to you and. 
and tell you all the things that we're going through and everything that, you know, the Eyes Open Media family is going through and, and how we can all come together and pray for each other and, and be healed of all our situations and, and, and receive our breakthroughs in Yeshua's name. Father, you said the month of May will be a month that we would not, you know, forget. It would be a month of celebration, prosperity, a month of completion, a month of marriage, a month of, of meeting, uh, of, of, of your people finally starting to meet uh, their spouses. And we thank you, Father, for that. We thank you that that's, that's happening now, a, a month of breaking news, uh, good and bad. And we thank you, Father, for that. We know that when the good comes, the bad also comes with it. And, you know, when the bad comes, the good also is there with it. So we, we get that. We get the uh, the, the duality the thing that goes on. I know that the uh, <laughs> the uh, Hollywood satanic world uses the black and white yin and yang duality all the time. We see that in their clothing and, and all the things that they do. And we, we understand that. But we know where they got it from. <laughs> we know that uh, we know that. Uh, you know that that you are always the creator, and and uh, and Satan always has to copy. He can't create. He cannot create. He can only copy. And so we know who the winner is. We we know we know where the winning team is, and that's where we're going to stay in Yeshua's name. So that means that we need to repent quickly for all the sins that we do. Any sins that we do, we repent quickly for. We do not even allow Satan and his and his demons to have an entry foothold in us. When we repent, I mean, when we sin, we repent quickly and we close that portal of sin immediately in Yeshua's mighty name. And we thank you, Father, for that. So right now we repent for all our sins that we've done this week, every sin that we've done today, every sin we've done this month, every sin we've done this month, every sin we've done this year, every sin in our generational bloodline, going back to Adam and Eve, we repent for it now in Yeshua's mighty name. We repent for all the, the, the uh, sins, the hidden sins, secret sins, unknown sins, known sins. We repent for all the things that we've done in the spiritual realm. We repent for hatred and bitterness and anger. We repent for uh, for uh, slander and gossip. We repent for uh, uh, perversion and fornication. We repent for adultery. We repent for uh, all the things that we have done and all the abominations that we have done in your sight and in the sight of the Holy Spirit and the sight of Yeshua and the sight of our guardian angels and all the and all the angels in heaven. We repent for it right now in Yeshua's name. Wash us clean with the blood of Yeshua and the power of the Ruach Kedush Holy Spirit. And forgive us for our sins, and teach us uh, to continue and, and just remove those 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 uh, demons that could cause us to to you know to do those types of sins and and to anger you in Yeshua's name. Wash us clean in Yeshua's name, and forgive us for our sins, Father. And and re, and also we re, we uh, cancel all the dreams, all all demonic dreams, all dreams of nightmares, and all dreams of animals, all dreams of insects, all dreams of of uh, familiar spirits, all dreams of of vagabond spirits, all dreams of lack and and failure. We re, rebuke that. We cancel it. We send it back to the sender. A hundred million billion trillion fold pin with the blood of Yeshua and the power of the Ruha Kadesh, Holy Spirit. And we cancel all dreams. They shall never affect us. They shall never harm us. They shall never come to pass. In Yeshua's name, all dreams that are not of you, Father, that are evil, that are demonic, should be sent to the feet of Yeshua for judgment. Let us dream of prosperity. Let us dream of love. Let us dream of peace. Let us dream of, of wealth transfer. Let us dream of uh, promotion. Let us dream of family and friends and loved ones in Yeshua's mighty name. Let us dream of good things, of holiness. Let us dream of you, the Father, and the, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Let us dream, Father, of holiness in Yeshua's. Let us stay in the presence of holiness in Yeshua's mighty name. And as if we come out because of sin, let us make sure we repent quickly and come back into the presence of holiness in Yeshua's mighty name. We're no, we're not, we're not perfect, but we, but you know, Yeshua did say, "Now go and sin no more." So, <laughs> if Yeshua can do it. If Yeshua came to the earth and he did it, then he expects us that we can do it as well. And we should not be using that excuse that, oh, we're, 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 uh, you know, we're in a world of sin and, and blah, 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 blah. Yeshua said, go and sin no more. 
So that means that he was saying, go and sin no more. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you know, so we, we have to, we have to, we can't use sin as an excuse. Okay. Uh, in this world, we, we have to stay righteous. We have to stay in the presence of holiness in Yeshua's name. And we thank you, Father. We thank you that um, everything that you have promised us for the month of May shall come to pass in Yeshua's name. The celebrations, the wealth transfers, the uh, the, the the removal of the Iranian puppets and strongholds in Iraq, the Iran deal, uh, with the removal of America and taking the hand off of Iran. Taking the hand, like you told uh, um, Prophet uh, Cle Kim Clement about that, how we re remove, we put our hands in Iran, and then you remove our hands from Iran, and and you, Father, we give you the glory, Father, for for uh, for pushing and urging John Donald Trump to to uh, re withdraw from the Iran deal, which would which would was going to hurt America in the long run and and our allies. Um, it was a terrible, terrible deal. Uh, it was a head scratcher deal at the time. Very, very terrible deal for America. And uh, we thank you for pushing Donald Trump for him to have the courage to uh, withdraw from that deal. We know it was you. We, we know it was you. We, 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 we give you praise for that in Yeshua's name because the prophecy of Kim Clement came to pass as we take our hands out of Iran. Now, of course, Father, it's going to then start, uh, you know, bombs being dropped from Israel. Iran uh, and Israel are going to start to go get into it, and Syria and all these places are getting into it. The uh, Middle East is, is, is on fire, and, uh, and uh, it's going to bring, it's going to bring, it's going to bring the release of the lower notes <laughs> it's going to be it's going to bring the release of iraq and we thank you father and everybody's going to say why now why now why now do you see that the middle east is on fire what are you doing iraq right and because it's time it's time for iraq to take its place back on the global stage and we thank you father for that in yeshua's name we thank you that all the prophecies are coming to pass and we thank you father in yeshua's mighty name I pray shalom and we thank you for healing us of all sickness and disease anybody listening to this including myself with any sickness and disease and hidden hid, hidden diseases and viruses and bacteria allergies and asthma and cancer and AIDS STDs and all these tumors and, and blindness or can't hear or having hearing problems uh, arthritis problems and all joint pains back organ problems uh, blood uh, problems problems you know blood flow problems in Yeshua's mighty name uh, we, we we cancel those um, diseases we cancel those sicknesses in Yeshua's mighty name and we bring forth the healing power of Yeshua in Yeshua's mighty name we pray Shalom and we fill ourselves with the fire power of the Holy Spirit in Yeshua's name be healed be healed be healed including myself in Yeshua's mighty name. Man, them allergies, Father. Oof, heal me from allergies. I mean, I'm getting better, but my goodness, my goodness. When I go out there and all that pollen, Lord, block, uh, build up my immune system, Father. I'm eating a lot of salads and fruits. Come on. <laughs> so build up my build up my immune system, Father, and protect my my body and shield my body from pollen and the dust and the aller and all the things that create the allergies, Father. And because I as a growing up as a child, I never had these problems. So that must mean that it's the that there's a lot of the food that we eat. It brought the chemicals that broke down. Um, our immune systems, the chemicals from the processed foods is breaking down our, our immune system walls. And so now we're, and now we have to have, now we get allergies and sickness and all these things. So father build our immune systems back up. Let us eat right. Let us remove ourselves from processed foods and eat fruits and salads and, and, and good fruits and, and, and good things. Uh, so we can build that immune system back up and protect ourselves from diseases and, and allergies and, and things like of that nature in Yeshua's mighty name. Thank you, Father, for the information. Thank you, Father, for the wisdom. Thank you for your kindness as we go forth on this Sabbath day. Bless us today and bring holiness into us, into our lives. 
and bring people into our lives that are holy as well and uh, bring promotions and success and achievement into our lives today in Yeshua's mighty name. It's going to be a great weekend, Father, as we watch Iraq remove the stronghold and then celebrate as as, uh, as, uh, as prosperity will return to that country in Yeshua's name. We thank you, Father. We thank you, Father. We thank you, Father, for doing that in Yeshua's name. We know it's all you. It's nobody else. <laughs> it ain't no guru. It's all you. <laughs> it's not Trump. It's you. It's not me. It's you. It's not nobody else. It's no. It's no prophet. It's no. It's no pastor. It's no evangelist. It's none of us. It's you. And we thank you, Father, in Yeshua's name. I pray. Shalom. Happy Sabbath, everybody. And I hope you guys enjoyed that. And uh, go over and check out Cherie's video and be blessed. And uh, see you guys later. Bye. Eyes open. Shalom.